Well, good afternoon. I'm Dave Elder, and I'm surrounded here by pictures that I have bought or borrowed or stolen or some way acquired over the years, just things I liked. Some of them I know a little bit about. Some <laughs> I've forgotten how I came by them, but I love them all. And little by little, we'll look at some of them and perhaps talk a little bit about them. Thank you. This is a, an acrylic by Billy Cox, born and raised here in Washington. For a time, he uh, did uh, animations for Walt Disney out in California. He loves to paint balloons. That's it. When we opened this uh, gallery, the Helen Wilson Gallery in the uh, library, the first speaker here was Virginia Myers, a uh, graphic artist, a student, and assistant to uh, Mauricio Lasansky at the University of Iowa. She came down and demonstrated the art of intaglio printing and brought some examples. This is by one of her students, which uh, I bought for <laughs> a few dollars at that time. It's rather nice. Now this is one of the one of my one of the greatest one of my favorite uh, favorite things. This is by uh, Virginia Myers from the university. It is a genuine uh, steel uh, or copper engraving. That means the lines are all incised into the metal. The drawing is done in uh, mirror image. Then the metal plate is coated with ink. The ink wiped off the surface. A sheet of paper laid over the plate and it is run through a press. The press squeezes the paper so that it picks up the ink which remains in those incised lines. Uh, her press in Iowa City is one of the few large enough to take uh, an engraving of this size. It's called Molly of Molly Brooks, Pigs and Flies, and it is a gorgeous piece of work. That's it. Uh, this is one of a series of little lithographs that uh, I don't know where I came by them, but I saw them offered for sale and uh, bought them. That's one. Let's see if we can look at some others. Milk bottles and grapefruit. Why not? We see them every day, but never quite like this. And this is not a lithograph. It's an etching done by Gary Ballard when he was in high school here. His teacher, Carlton Bump, always thought highly of this little piece, and I think highly of it, too. I, I bought it when they had a high school art show. This is the second of Marjorie's early uh, watercolors that I own. Uh, clearly, it is a scene uh, of adobe house in New Mexico. She spent a lot of time in the Southwest it was when she traveled into, down into Mexico that uh, she became absolutely intoxicated with the colors down there. And it, I think it profoundly affected her great later work. A little watercolor by my friend Jackie Wells. Unpretentious, but it's nice and it looks good on a wall. This is one of the first watercolors I ever bought. Uh, years and years ago, I bought it up in Cedar Falls. It was painted by uh, a farm housewife by the name of Briggs, uh, who lives up in that area somewhere. I know nothing whatever about her, but it was one of my very first ventures in buying a piece of art. This is an absolutely gorgeous little watercolor made by a local artist. If I remember, I bought this at a 
high school art show, though I can't be sure about it. I've had it for a long time. Carlton Bump was able to tell me who the artist was. I've forgotten, and Carlton sadly is gone. If anyone remembers who, who did this work, I would like very much to know, because it, it's a great piece. I love it. This is a colored lithograph. Uh, I bought several of these at a time when there was an organization called American Artists Guild, which uh, offered these multiple originals. Uh, and uh, you will see several of them. This is uh, a rather nice one. Another colored lithograph. This one by an artist named Hoy, H-O-I, obviously a uh, work from Southeast Asia. He has a very distinctive style and exceedingly colorful. Uh, I, I love to look at them. This was offered to me as a, a genuine Picasso print. Uh, I suspect that it is a reproduction but uh, at least it was by Picasso who does marvelous things with a simple line. A silk screen reproduction of uh, a picture by Juan Miro. Uh, I get a great deal of joy out of these things. A self-portrait by Sandra Reed, a young woman from uh, this uh, this er town, this county, grew up here. Now is back east, uh, still painting and uh, having shows and uh, teaching art. Uh, she lets me know when she has a show, and I'm never able to travel back to see them. I would dearly love to. A fine artist, I'm I'm very happy to have a sample of her work. This is by Donna Guy of Brighton, one of our uh, uh, most respected and best known local artists. It's not typical of her work, but uh, it is definitely and distinctly hers. Uh, I bought it several years ago. I'm delighted to have it, even though I consider it that typical. This is a photograph. I bought it, I believe, at an exhibit of 4-H club uh, photogra uh, photography. It's an abandoned farmhouse, a scene all too familiar in Washington County in the last decade. Nicely done. Uh, this is another real nice abstraction by Earl Ray. Uh, this one has a title. It's called Master of the Elements. It's one of the first paintings that I bought for the uh, public library. And I remember I did it because the library didn't have anything that was abstract. And I, I thought they ought to have something like this just to uh, shake things up a little bit. Really, it's, it's a great painting. The colors are gorgeous. This is a very interesting photograph. Uh, obviously an old one. As you can tell, if you uh, look at those airplanes closely, old biplanes. The picture was made by Gene Thomas, a local uh, boy. Uh, then a photographer with the Des Moines Register, and it was made at an air show in Des Moines, uh, strictly dated by those uh, old-fashioned planes. Nice photograph. Uh, Shelley Lawson teaches art at uh, Stewart Lower Elementary School here in Washington. When I was managing the commercial printing for the uh, journal, uh, I would accumulate lots of uh, 
scraps of uh, brightly colored paper. I found that uh, she could uh, use those very handily in her classes up at Stewart. So uh, I gave her quite a bit of that uh, colorful paper. And in return, she gave me two little samples of her own work. This is one. This is the other Shelley Lawson. Uh, the two of them make a delightful pair. Aren't they nice? A lovely painting by Abby Timmons, born and raised here, now a professional artist. Uh, one of the uh, first of her things that I bought. I bought it when she had a show out at the uh, community center of her work. Uh, I think I bought three of her uh, paintings from that show. This one for the library and two are prized possessions on the wall of my apartment at home. Uh, a richly colored landscape by Kathleen Almeline of Washington. Lives in Washington, teaches art at uh, uh, Columbus Community School. It is one of the first uh, paintings uh, bought with library funds for the library collection of work by local artists. Thank you for listening.